Hi everyone, this is Lena. Welcome back to my Tableau tutorial series. In this video, I'll be guiding you through a simple walkthrough on how to create Choropleth maps using Tableau software. Choropleth maps are useful as they enable us to visualise values over a geographical area by using colour progressions. Today we'll be exploring this function to visualise the global adult literacy rates in 2010. First of all, let's have a look at our data in Excel. I'm using data which has been compiled from the World Development Indicators and UNESCO databases online. In column A we have the country names, and next to this are all the corresponding literacy rates. I've highlighted the country Australia here, which has been deliberately misspelled so I can show you later on how to deal with this on Tableau. So let's get right into it. Open up Tableau and import the data from these options on the left. As our data is in the XLS format, select the Excel document option. Now that the file has been opened, it's important to check that we have the correct data. On the left we have our countries, and on the right the literacy rates for each country. Since our data contains column headings, make sure that the field names are in first row option has been checked up here, and you're good to go. Click on Sheet 1, which will take us straight to the worksheet so we can begin to manipulate our data. As you can see, our two variables have been listed over here on the left. The countries are listed as a dimension up here, and the literacy rates are listed down here as a measure. Now Tableau was able to georeference country names, which means it will automatically place our data on the map. Start by dragging the country names to the rows tab and the literacy rates to the columns tab. If you look over at the show me panel on the right here, we can now select the field maps option. Clicking on this will automatically generate a map that colors each country according to our data. As you can see, Australia hasn't been filled in yet as there was a typo in the data set. To fix this, head to the bottom right corner. There is one unknown value we need to fix. Click the button and fix the error by typing in the correct name. Now that Australia has been filled in, we can alter the appearance of the map by changing the shading. To do this, click the colour tab and then Edit Colours. For this map, we'll select the red, green, gold diverging colouring, which will display the countries with lower rates of literacy in shades of red, and the countries with higher rates in green. Click OK. Now hovering over the different areas shows the literacy rates for each country. We can control what information is displayed by clicking the tooltip function here on the left. Type in the percentage sign after the sum text, and click OK. If we hover over the countries now, it will display the literacy rates as a percentage. And there we have it. The final Choropleth map clearly shows which countries have the highest and lowest rates of literacy. I hope you found this information useful. Thanks for watching.